roll. Hello, Bots and Books fans. This is Scorp1701, and tonight we are going to be taking a look at three awesome Transformers. Well, I, it's sort of like when we were looking at the Seekers. It's not technically three Transformers. It's three different characters with the same Transform. And I am talking of the awesome Earthrise versions of Prowl, Blue Streak, and Smokescreen. Now, in the Siege line, they gave us a Prowl and a Blue Streak, but they didn't give us a Smokescreen. He was an exclusive from Generation Selects. Uh, so what they did this time was the main line of Earthrise gave us a smoke screen, Walgreens gave us an awesome blue streak, and Amazon.com gave us an awesome two-pack with the Earthrise versions of Prowl and Ironhide. But for those of you who are wanting to look at the Ironhide, we'll have to do that a little later. Tonight we just have so much to look at with just Prowl, Blue Streak, and Smoke Screen. But anyway, let's jump right in and take a look at these boxes. Now, taking a look at the uh, Amazon exclusive box first, you can see it is a two pack, so it's a little bigger than the others. You have Prowl and Ironhide there, and on you see them fighting on Earth. You have Transformers Earthrise, Transformers Takaratomi, Transformers Generations. Now, you might notice there's a little bit of junk here. I was very disappointed because when I got this in the mail from Amazon, they had put stickers all over the front. It wasn't in a packing box or anything. They just used this as the packing box. I was not happy, so I've kind of uh, scraped it off as best I can just to give a good review of it. But yeah, they got an angry letter. Anyway, on this side of the box, you just have the carrying over to the scene. You have Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy at the top. At the bottom, you have some words and credits and barcodes, nothing important. On this side, you have the Earthrise uh, picture, which is really cool. And on the back of the box, you have product shots for Ironhide and Ironhide's uh, van mode. And Prowl in his uh, car mode and his robot mode. So that is pretty neat. All right. And that is pretty much the box for that one. Now, moving on to Blue Streak. This was a Walgreens exclusive, and he is done up in the standard Earthrise box. And you have a nice picture of Blue Streak there, Transformers here, Earthrise uh, logo there, Hasbro, <coughs> Transformers Generations, Takara Tomy, Blue Streak, and his name in Cybertronese. On the top, you got just uh, the Autobot symbol, Transformers, or for Cybertron, and Galvatron floating there. On this side, the picture that we already seen with the Earthrise bots. And on the back of the box, you have his robot and in his vehicle mode. So that is cool. A lot of credits here and a lot of credits there. Nothing that we need to worry about. And finally, the main uh, bot from the line is Smokescreen. His box is exactly the same as the Blue Streak box color-wise, and he has a slightly different picture here on this side, but everything else is the same. You know, credits, picture, uh, product shots, top, bottom, sides, all sorts of new cool stuff. But anyway, that's these awesome guys in the box. No one wants to see these guys in the box. I know I don't. So let's get them out and see what they can do. And here we have Prowl, Blue Streak, and Smokescreen out of the package. And suffice it to say, they each come with pretty much the same things. They all have a map piece. They all have this nice little red decoder to try to decode it. They all have laser rifles, uh, depending on the, which one it is. This is the color. Prowl has the white, Blue Streak has the gray, and Smokescreen has the blue. And when you're talking about Blue Streak and Smokescreen, they both have shoulder uh, missiles, a little couple that go on to the side. But we'll take a look at that when we get into their robot mode. And actually, a little bit of car mode too, if you want to attach the weapons, you can. But first of all, let's take a quick look at each of the vehicles. <laughs> And first up, we'll take a look at Prow. Now, Prow is your normal white police car, uh, mostly white. He has a nice uh, red and black siren at the top here uh, with some lights. 
and he has some clear uh, blue tinted uh, translucent plastic so for his windshields front and back and sides he has police written on the side of him there normally he would have a some sort of badge I don't know why they left that off but oh well beggars can't be choosers he has some nice uh, black wheels they roll really well um, on the front he has some nice uh, headlights coming down, nice uh, blue uh, tinted headlights. Have an Autobot symbol right there on the chest or the front of the hood coming down. We saw this earlier coming down to the back of the windshields and the back windshield. So that is pretty neat. Got a little gas tank picked out there on the back. He has some brake lights picked out in red and some black. Got the uh, some details. I'm not sure if you can actually see the details in there. It's, it's kind of dark, but he has some mufflers. Uh, that's pretty neat. And pretty much the same on this side of the built, uh, vehicle. And on the bottom, you can see a little bit of robot uh, bits. But that's all. Anyway, that is Prowl. <laughs> And here we have Blue Streak, and Blue Streak is a combination of silver and black. Most of the sides are going to be silver. He has some nice wheels that move very uh, freely, just like uh, Prowl's. He has a kind of a, I don't want to say it's not, maybe like a darker uh light gray tint to his windshields so that's pretty neat uh coming around the front has some blue tint here all about symbol black hood and leading up to just the top of his roof and then it goes back down to gray on this side that's pretty neat and clear windows in the back and some red uh, tail lights picked out this uh, gray plastic is a lot easier to look at than uh, prowls because you can actually see the uh, mufflers and uh, license plate sections down there so that is awesome same on this side so that is what you're looking at when you're blue streak on the bottom now he has some red highlights as opposed to uh, prowls just white and black so that's pretty neat you can see some robot head in there but anyway that is blue streak <laughs> And last but not least, with this same mold, we have Smokescreen. Now, Smokescreen is a race car, and you can see he has 80 on his side door. Now, the original number was 38. I'm not sure why they changed it 80. Probably licensing and what have you. But anyway, that's just one of those weird uh, things that you have to deal with when you're uh, talking about toys and race car versions. Because... Uh, uh, Will Jack and all the others have different numbers throughout the history of their toys as well. But anyway, getting back to look at this guy, you can see he is made up of uh, red, blue, and white. Mostly he uh, has a front hood of red and uh, got some white streaks on the side coming down to some blue. He uh, has a nice Autobot symbol there. His lights are nice smoky dark. Uh, plastic so you know that fits his name smoke screen really well has a nice uh, white bumper here some uh, black going in the middle there um, and see coming to the side most of it is blue you got some uh, little blue uh, I don't know sprongs and further holding the wheels on so that's kind of strange but mostly blue and white along the side then you come back to the hood where it's red some more of that smoky uh, black uh, plastic for the windshields and coming to the back you got a little bit of paint scuff there eh, that's all right we try to get that off if not it's not a big deal but you got the black windshields coming down no no tail lights picked out so that's unfortunate but you have the mufflers and the license plates area all blue so that's pretty much it for both sides of the car and on the bottom you can see his head kind of tucked away there and some black and some blue and some more robot uh, bits. But anyway, that is it for Smokescreen. And if you want to arm your cars up, you can place their laser rifles on, on prowls. You can go right uh, between the uh, siren bar there on Blue Streak and... Um, on smoke screen you can put it right on their hood and they also have the ability to add these secondary uh, cannons to the side because they had them on their shoulders so that was pretty neat so that is if you want to uh, arm up your cars I'm not a big uh, component of that but hey it's a thing you could do if you're so inclined 
All right, moving on. And full comparison, here they are with their Siege selves. And you can see um, when it comes to the Siege, they are a bit of a sleeker design, uh, but uh, the Earthrise vehicles are more obviously Earthrise, uh, Earth, earthen vehicles. So I think that's pretty neat uh, when you have the comparison of these three. Um, I don't know. I like having the Siege versions, kind of giving it a Cybertronian look, but uh, there's nothing to compare with the um, um, whatever the car is that uh, this is actually based off of. So that's pretty neat right there. So I actually enjoyed uh, both sets. So, you know, it's a little bit extra, but... Ah. <laughs> And for Earthrise comparison, here they are with Optimus Prime, Wheeljack, and Cliff Jumper. So that is a very good uh, array of Autobots. Um, Prime just takes up too much space with this trailer. Let me get that out of there. And so we can like move these up for a little bit. See the sides. That is cool. Check that out. Uh, neat details. And move into the si other side. <laughs> Uh, about face Autobots. So that's pretty cool. You have a little demolition derby there. Prime's about to hit the wall. So that's cool. And uh, that is some comparisons with some regular Earthrise bots. Woo in full transformation we will use prowl as our guinea pig and uh one and done this is because all their transformations are going to be the same so what we will do is we will start here at the doors and pull the doors open so on both sides Ta -ta -ta -da! open the doors all right and with that done that will give us a little bit of clearance to move these arms out of the way so go ahead and move them down on both sides move the arms down okay so there's pointing straight down he's doing push-ups and then move them out to the side all the way out on both sides out to the side all right so now you have this weird looking thing that's pretty cool all right <clears throat> now we're going to go to the bottom of the car and we need to extend the leg so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this part right here this little black part and we're going to grab that and push it down or pull it down i'm sorry and that will make this back part of the car kind of go up so like that so now when that's done we can have enough room to bring out the rest of the legs and accordioning them out so boom there you go so now the legs are out so let me uh zoom out because he's getting to be kind of tall all right now with him like this first thing we want to do is spin the waist make sure that and so that his his uh tail lights are facing us and now we will split the legs here at the bottom and come to the bottom side now you have this new little piece this wasn't like on the siege it's this little black piece and what you'll do is you'll pull that down and that will come around and that will form a heel so that's pretty neat and we'll do the same thing on that side so take this black piece and pull it down it will go straight down and around to form a heel now on the inside of this leg you have this little black panel <clears throat> and this is something they added they didn't really have to do this it doesn't really add much to it but if you pull this down this will kind of fill in this gap yeah it's not perfect and it's not great but hey it's something for those people who hate this unsightly gap so do that on both sides and you have just a little bit of uh gap sparage there i don't know <clears throat> anyway going back to the front of the vehicle now um, we are about ready to do the top so we can go ahead and turn his head around <laughs> come on prowl face us face us prowl oh face your fear all right now to, all we have to do is bring the top part down so what we'll do is if we go to the front you'll see right here at the windshield there's the uh, little hatch so what we're going to do is push that down it's going to sound bad but that's okay it's okay push it down 
All right, nice pop. And make sure it goes all the way down. You will bend the uh, you will bend the hood forward, and that will come over his head. So bend the for hood forward, and it will just fall right into place like such. All right, very good. We got that on. All right, uh, with his hood over his body and his head, we can move the arms with take the wheels rotate them towards the wings backwards and all the way around and that will bring the arms down in a normal position all right let's try it again here rotate the shoulder with the tire all the way back to the wing and then slide the shoulder down if you look on the sides there's a little tab here right in this little arm well and there is a slut right here on the arm form so that needs to tab into there and that will lock his shoulder into place and it's not going anywhere okay and there we have prow in his robot mode and it looks beautiful he is an excellent excellent g1 prow <laughs> And here we have Proud, Blue Streak, and Smokescreen in their robot modes. And they look really, really nice. Again, all very close to that G1 aesthetic. You have Prow and Blue Streak and Smokescreen. Now, Blue Streak and Smokescreen do have their shoulder cannons, as was proper in the G1 cartoon. And the only thing that I wish we'd be able to do is to rotate uh, Smokescreen's wheels from the back to the top. His uh, wheels are actually on top of his uh, arm for the cartoon, but that's all right. Anyway, all right, let's take a closer look at these guys. And coming real close in on Prowl, you can see he has your standard Prowl uh, head sculpt with white helmet with some red wings at the top, nice blue eyes and a silver face. And before we get too uh, far into it, I do want to compare him relatively with the uh, Siege version, which is technically supposed to be the same character. But right now you can definitely see a little bit of differences already with just the head sculpt. Uh, the Siege Prowl's head sculpt is a lot more defined in the wing section, and that's kind of uh, interesting. The chest on the regular uh, Prowl and the Siege Prowl are relatively the same with the black and the white. Autobot symbol being more prominent on the Earthrise version. And you have your blue lights here, whereas you don't have anything. Well, you do have a little bit of uh, drawn yellow headlights into the chest there. Uh, but when you go down to the arms section, the forearms, and you're missing the uh, nice yellow detail that the uh, Siege has. Also yellow detail in the belt section coming down to the legs. Uh, legs are pretty much similar. You do have the uh, red uh, tail lights picked out on the uh, Earthrise as opposed to nothing on the uh, Siege. So that's a little bit of a comparison with those two. I do have to say I do like the head better on the Siege as opposed to the uh, Earthrise and there wasn't and the lack of uh, paint on the Earthrise is kind of a bummer but the Earthrise is part of a two-pack so they probably were looking for ways to skimp in order to you know put out more product all right and that is your prowl <laughs> And next up we have Blue Streak in his robot form. And obviously it's the same as the other one, but it's just different color. He has a nice uh, gray helmet with some red wings, nice blue eyes, silver face. And you can see on his shoulders he has his cannons, which I think are really nicely done. Uh, coming down to a black chest with an Autobot symbol and some light blue uh, headlights gray arms but let's move over and not forget to uh, check out what our uh, second comparison here now back going back to this is the 35th anniversary uh blue streak uh it was released around the same time as siege uh, it was a walmart exclusive and you can see the head is very similar to the uh siege prowl's head the uh, wings are a little more defined there and sharper the cannons come up a little higher and they have this god awful little tab coming off to the outside so i didn't really like that 
Uh, but as you can see, the paint scheme for both of these vehicles are pretty much identical with gray at the top, mid uh, elbows for red, black midsection, red legs, and coming down. Now the uh, windows are different on uh, the leg section, and then you got the headlights over here with the uh, Earthrise Blue Streak and just the red uh, section down at the bottom for the uh, 35th anniversary. Um, taking a look at both of them, I really think that the Earth, I like the Earthrise figure uh, better as Blue Streak in this form. Uh, I think I like his shoulder cannons a lot better and uh, his head is just different enough uh, to be distinct. So yeah, I really like the way they design this Walgreens exclusive Blue Streak. And finally, we come to Smokescreen. Now, Smokescreen has always been the odd guy out. He didn't arrive till season two of uh, Transformers, so he wasn't there to be like the brothers, like uh, Prowl and Blue Streak were. But he still had the same Transform, obviously, and uh, I really like his color scheme. Uh, he's like blue helmet. He has a uh, nice uh, orange yellowish wings at the top of his head nice blue eyes and a uh, white face there his face i think they nailed this one particularly uh towards the cartoon he always had sort of a longer face that wasn't because he was sad it, it was just because it was the longer face design for some reason uh he has his nice uh, shoulder cannons there I wouldn't have minded if they were like gray with blue is just mixes in i think uh a nice red uh a hood with the Autobot symbol, black uh, headlights, some red or some white streaks going down, and mostly blue up in the shoulder, and a little bit of white on the bumper. So moving over, this was an exclusive that you would have to or send away for. Uh, his head was really different. It had a you had a lot of good detail in those heads. The wings looked cracked, and he had some nice uh, I don't know battle damage i don't think that's what it was i just think it came across that way but uh, it was nicely done uh for the head sculpt to distinguish it between prowl and blue streak so he had the same kind of uh problem i thought with the uh shoulder cannons as blue streak with that they just th they just came up real high on his shoulder and they had little tabs jetting off to nowhere so that was kind of annoying but anyway for the color scheme they are basically the same um, you got a little more white and black uh, breaking up on the uh, earth rise and when you come down to the uh, midsection you got black for both but then the legs on the siege for better term are black and the one on earth rise is white legs i think those are a little more cartoon accurate and the arms pretty much the same you do have a little more blue in the forearm section as opposed to the black in the uh, siege but going down a lot of better color on the earth rise when you got the red for the windshields as opposed to the smoky translucent plastic all the way through on the uh, siege coming down you have just the blues on the bases so that's pretty neat uh all in all i think they did a better job with the earth rise um smoke screen than they did with the siege but it wasn't an exclusive this was just part of the main line since they didn't put this out during the siege all right and for our articulation we will use a uh, blue streak here and starting at the top his head will go around 360 degrees if you're so inclined and it can go up a little bit and down a little bit wiggly waggly uh, so that is cool. His shoulder can go all the way around 360 degrees. Just watch out for the wing It can go up and down if you break it out of that slot, but remember to resecure it. He does have a uh, Bicep swivel it is very tight on my copy. So probably will be on yours, too He does have an elbow bend gets a lot of uh, motion right there goes so we can go up and down and his hand does articulate all the way around 360 degrees so that is cool all right coming down now um he does kind of have a um ab crunch it's basically this hinge right here it's kind of hidden in there but you can push it down and the whole front will go down to, oh 
and it can go back just a little bit but be careful because you don't want your windshield to get in the way he does have a waist articulation he can go all the way around like so that's pretty cool as far as his legs they can come out to the side so that's got a little motion there and they can go up and then they can go back uh just a hair because there is this little uh thing that gets in the way so uh, i don't know if you can see that but it's not going to go back too far he does have a thigh swivel right here it goes all the way around and he does have a knee bend so he can get his knee up really far that's of course mostly due to transformation but i'll take it uh he kind of has a rocker for his foot right there but it and it can go kind of down but and up but it's mostly again transformation and it's too big and beefy i think to really prove much uh use as kind of a foot rotation that's kind of a problem with these robots i guess but anyway that is it for his articulation <laughs> And for comparison, here the team is with Optimus, Wheeljack, and Cliff Jumper. And you can see they fit in real nicely. I think they did a real good job with these guys. And uh, the height-wise, they fit perfectly in the scale that they're supposed to hit. And it's just great having these three part of the team of Earthrise with their new transforms. <laughs> And this has been the Earthrise Prowl, Blue Streak, and Smoke Screen from various locations. The Prowl came from an Amazon 2 pack with Ironhide in his Earthrise form. The Blue Streak came from Walgreens as an exclusive. And the Smoke Screen is just part of the regular line that you can find in the general release and retail. So, uh, these are pretty much the same toy. Uh, they obviously have different paint jobs, uh, slightly different accessories when it comes to Blue Streak and Smokescreen's shoulder cannons. But, you know, I think they did a really good job with these three. And you didn't have to get them. They wasn't, it wasn't one of those things that they're going to just re-release them. You actually had to go out and hunt uh, if you really wanted these three molds of the um, uh, Nissan Fair Lady. Uh, is what it was and uh, I think they did a good job um, the blue streak I think is a lot better than the siege there was a lot more proportions to him and I like his colors better and I think I like his shoulder cannons a lot better than the siege versions prowl uh, I don't he's got less color on him and I think his head is a little worse than the siege version maybe trying to think of a way to swap out the heads but I don't know uh he's lacking the color that the siege version had on the forearms and on the midsection so I mean again he was part of a two-pack so again I think they were trying to look for ways to cut costs but uh Anyway, they gave us a prowl. So, and as for uh, Smokescreen, I really liked him. I think his head sculpt was different, different than the others. Uh, more uh, accurate to the cartoon. Um, I think his uh, shoulder cannons could have been like gray, like blue streaks. I wouldn't have bought, minded that. I do like the change of his legs being white as opposed to black, like the uh, Generation Selects uh, one. But uh, yeah. They gave us the character that we wanted, so I'm happy with it. So, anyway, guys, that's the review. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, keep playing. Fate rarely calls upon us at a moment of our choosing. 